Terror series, a young YouTuber cranking out videos for her one and a half million subscribers. But for 24-year-old Molly Burke, that just scratches the surface of what makes her remarkable. Watch this. Hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video, and if you have no idea who I am, I'm the blind girl. Molly Burke is a rising social media star looking to inspire others with her unique point of view. I am not just a blind girl. I am a girl who happens to be blind. I want to be the person who says, no, my disability is not the elephant in the room. Considered legally blind from birth, Molly was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa, a rare eye disease, when she was only four years old. She gradually lost her vision 10 years later. I want to really show you how, as a blind girl, I shop and pick out my outfits. <sighs> I'm ready for this girl. Let's go. But Molly's inability to see has not held her back. I'm an open book. I want to be here to educate you. I would rather you ask and find out and be educated than go about your life always wondering and assuming and being wrong. In 2016, Molly shared a message about being the target of bullies in the eighth grade. She says she was abandoned by girls in a forest. When you're being bullied, they always try to tell you it's not you. It's nothing you've done. It's the other person. Something inside of them is broken. But for a long time, I didn't believe that. I let you make me feel like I was in the wrong. I was the problem. I'm not the problem. I never was. Molly learned to move forward. She gained confidence with the support of family and new friends and uses her story to show others that they are not alone. So cool. She also continues to expand her platform. Her more than one million YouTube channel subscribers can watch her makeup tutorials, hair transformations, one, two, three, and more. Ta-da! How do you do your makeup? Success! I have got the mascara. I feel so cute! <laughs> <laughs> and joining me now, Molly Burke. Welcome, Molly. Thank you so much for being here. How do you do your makeup in a second? Because that's okay. that is interesting. So, you 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 were born legally blind, yes. but, but you could see you could see some things for the first fourteen years of your life. Yeah. So I never had full sight, but to me, like before fourteen was sighted Molly's life. You know, mm -hmm. because it was all I knew was the sight I had, and it was definitely far more significant than than what I live with now. And so, as your vision deteriorated, and you you felt yourself losing what you had. Was that painful? Oh, it was, it was awful. It's something I don't wish anyone to go through. It's certainly the most painful thing I've ever been through. I dealt with really severe depression, really bad bullying, um, as you saw before. And, um, you know, I really essentially had to mourn the loss of the girl I was and find a new person inside of me. Right. The, the story about the girls taking you out to the woods is horrible. And you heard our audience react in, in mm -hmm. horror. That actually happened? Girls took you out to the woods and left you there? Yeah, unfortunately, that is just one of, of many traumatizing experiences I had with bullies growing up. How old were you? I was uh, 14 at the time. I was in the midst of my vision loss when that happened. How, how many girls were involved? I want to say there was about five to eight girls that day. And when they left you, w was there a feeling of panic? That's the exact feeling. I remember realizing they were leaving me and just not knowing what I was going to do. And thankfully, I had my cell phone um, and was able to call my parents. And my mom came and got me. Um, and I, I never returned back to school. I finished the last six weeks of grade eight from home. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, your mom's with us, Nave. Hi. Hi. The, that moment, I mean, you, none of us can stand the thought of our child getting bullied. But... Obviously, Molly had already been through so much. What was that moment like for you? That moment was the moment when I said, that's it, Molly. I, I put her in the car and I said, you're done with this school. We're, we're leaving. This is, none of this is your fault. You know, we're going to stop this whole thing right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just took her home and she didn't go back. It was, it was in my mind, that's it. There's, there's just no more. How do you start, Molly, at that point? How do you start recovering from that emotionally. You know, you, at that point, you've been through so much. Mm -hmm. So you, you're depressed, you're at a real low. How do you start digging yourself out of that? 
Recovery is a journey, and unfortunately, there is no like quick fix it all solution that we'd all love to find. Um, it's it's a process, and I was very fortunate to have an incredible family. My mom, my dad, my brother supporting me on every step. A team of medical professionals, and just really working you know, as a whole on mind, body, spirit, and, uh, and recovering over the next number of years. Wow. I mean, clearly you and your mom did something right because the beautiful, vibrant girl we see on these YouTube videos who's helping others just feel better about themselves and, and sort of destigmatize a disability um, is probably shadows away from, from where you were at that moment. <laughs> And we're back now with YouTuber Molly Burke. Though born legally blind, she fully lost her sight 10 years ago when she was 14, but has gone on to have an incredible career. So you went out and started to become a motivational speaker. And then you decide to become a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. and, and you talk about fashion, you talk about beauty. How, how did that happen? What inspired you to do that? So I've been public speaking since I was five. Um, and by 18, it was my full career. I was traveling all over the world, speaking to audiences as big as 20,000. It was wild. And after doing like five to 10 speeches a week, being constantly on airplanes, I was like, I need another creative outlet other than just speaking. And I'll never give up speaking, but YouTube gave me so much as a viewer growing up during, during my recovery watching girls on YouTube, like they were like my big sisters, it felt like. You felt connected to them. I felt connected to them. And so I wanted to be able to do that. And I wanted to be able to, you know, share my life with people outside of just the blind and bullied and depressed story. Yep. I wanted to share the makeup loving, dating 24 year old girl with a cute guy dog taking on the world. Like <laughs> I want to share that part of my life. That's right. This is a little gallop with us. Big gallop, I would say. <laughs> so, I, I am curious, when you did your public speaking, you know, was it in any way an advantage not to be able to see the people, you know, because we get so nervous when we get up in front of live audiences? Oh, all the time people tell me when they hear that's my job, they're like, I would literally rather die than speak in public. <laughs> but for me, I always tell people it's actually like the bigger the audience is, the easier it is. Like, I love a large audience. You're just, you're an extrovert. You're so. just, exactly. Cited I just like or not soak cited, up all the energy it. when it's a big audience. All right. So what, I mean... So now you're out there with the fashion and all that. So how do you get the makeup on without, you know, because I can barely do my eyeliner and I can see fine out of my eyes. I mean, Megan, maybe you need to go watch my tutorial. I don't know. <laughs> Clearly I do. Um, yeah, it, it took a while. It was a, it was a lot of um, mascara running down the face for many years. Luckily, lash extensions have been my savior yep. because mascara is the one thing I could just never get a hand of. So... Lash extensions. Lash extensions, but, um, okay. And so did yeah. mom watch you and say, little to the left, little to the right? Well, I would listen to a lot of makeup tutorials on YouTube, and I would listen to a lot of girls talk about, like, what colors work with what skin tones and what product you should buy from MAC or whatever. And I would just go buy it and try it and experiment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I eventually figured it out. I know that you, you've you said you, you wouldn't change anything. Like, no. if, if you could undo the loss of your sight, you wouldn't. No. Why not? Um, you know, it's always like a controversial thing to talk about because I feel like sometimes sighted people almost get offended that I wouldn't want to be like them. But for me, I've learned to accept myself. And at the end of the day, I can't change that I'm blind, so why sit here crying about it? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. I'd rather just accept who I am, love this person. And I, I got there. I've gotten to a place in life where I love and accept this person. I'm happy. I'm proud of who I am. And I'm living my best life. And who's to say that being sighted would make it better? Oh, my God. Good for you. Do you. Are you dating anybody? How does dating go? Oh, dating. Girl, people complain about dating in 2018. I'm like, yeah, try being blind on top of that. I have all <laughs> of your problems and then some. Um, so... I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh, you know. You've just got the same problems as a, re a regular 24-year-old girl. Plus yeah. blindness, constantly traveling. You know, he's oh, always yeah. stealing the spotlight. <laughs> Gallop. It's like a two-for-one deal, which is either a really good thing if you like dogs or a really bad thing if you're allergic to them. So. <laughs> well, I would never marry a person who's not a dog person, so I think it's fine. Listen, thank you for telling your story, and good luck with it on YouTube. Thank you. Look forward to checking it out. Thanks. All the best for you, You see me. Thank you. If you want more from Molly, we have some fun news. She's going to take over our Instagram all morning at Megan Today, so go check it out. We'll be right back.